So these are the AirPods Pro 2. And at first glance, these look very similar to the AirPods Pro 1. Sure, there are some useful tweaks and additions, but I thought they were a minor upgrade over the Pro 1s. But that was all until I tried them. These are the best earphones to exist, rivaling high-end wireless headphones like the AirPods Max or the WH-1000XM5s. The AirPods Pro 2 improve over the AirPods Pro 1 in a lot of ways that are not noticeable at first glance, but you will notice them as you go on using it. For example, the design. Now visually, they look the same. Unless you're looking for some changes, here are a few. There is a new skin detect sensor which does not activate playback when you put them somewhere like your pockets or the acoustic grill which is now moved to the top. The four sensitive controls now have a touch control for adjusting volume on a pinch. The case too got some useful upgrades. It now has a speaker and the U1 chip for precision finding which basically makes it a glorified ad tag. This is very useful if you misplace or accidentally keep your case somewhere. There is also a lanyard loop if you use lanyards and the case can now charge with an Apple Watch charger which is pretty useful on a pinch. Another addition to the AirPods Pro 2 are the extra small ear tips for extra small ears like mine but I'm sure it has a very good personality. For personalized spatial audio, I got you there. Which uses the face ID sensors to determine how far apart your ears are in comparison to your face. It did make spatial audio better, dynamic head tracking was way more accurate, and the placement of vocal notes were better. But more on spatial audio in a bit. The extra small ear tip with good personality also helps with a better seal for active noise cancellation and transparency mode, which Apple claims has gotten better it can now remove up to two times the background noise and transparency mode can now reduce loud blaring noises. Now I have to give this to them. The ANC on the Pro 2s are much better than the Pro 1s. It removes a lot of background noise that you wouldn't expect something this small to remove. Like for example, one day I was knocking a door and I couldn't even hear the knocking sound at all. The ANC does not create that pressurized field anymore which the Pro 1 often did. Obviously, that feels very uncomfortable and tiring for long sessions. The transparency mode is something that the AirPods Pro 1 were already great with and the AirPods Pro 2 improves significantly over that as well. It literally feels like you're not wearing earphones at all and you can have normal conversations without any issues. And it adaptively suppresses a lot of loud noises like sirens or construction noises. All of these sounds are processed at up to 48,000 times per second which is pretty nuts. And all of these improvements are thanks to the H2 chip which not only improves ANC and transparency mode but improves the whole experience of using the AirPods. The connection time has been very fast. With previous AirPods, I had to wait for a second or two for them to connect. And when I switched devices, they took a while. But with the AirPods Pro 2, the second I put them on, they are connected to my phone and they switch between devices seamlessly. I edit with AirPods on cause they are very comfortable and the latency between AirPods and Mac are very less. And I do notice that the latency has been reduced a lot. I can comfortably edit with these over the Pro 1s. The mics are as good as they were in Pro 1s. There are no improvements here, but the battery life gets a boost. It can now last up to 6 hours with ANC on and go up to 30 hours with the case. This is good for long term use as the battery on the Pro 1 degraded a lot after a year. So maybe the bigger battery on the AirPods Pro 2 will help with longevity. With a small but useful feature, previously you had to put the case right near your phone with the AirPods in them to see the battery level. But since the case now has the U1 chip, it persistently updates the battery level to your phone. A subtle channel would be sound. But what about the sound quality? How does the AirPods Pro 2 sound over the AirPods Pro 1? It is much better than the Pro 1's. There is a prominent instrument separation, a lot of sub bass that the Pro 1's lack, and the voice notes are much clearer. The improvements to audio are cause of the H2 chip which smartly analyzes how each song has to be processed and it also makes spatial audio much better than before. In Heartless by the Weekend, I can clearly tell how one part of the song rotates above a space clearly on these than the first gen pros. But I think I have to call someone who knows more than me about audio. Okay, I know you have tried the AirPods Pro 2 and you're an audiophile. What do you think about the sound quality? 
How is the head shoe shape affecting sound quality? And would you recommend this over something like an in-ear monitor? All right. When I heard reviewers say the Gen 2 AirPod Pros had way more sub bass than the first gens, I expected them to be bloated and unnatural, kind of like the third gen AirPods regular. Fortunately, the H2 chip is pretty good at deciding when a track needs sub bass and digitally adds it in as it sees appropriate. Apart from the DSP being spot on this year, the driver itself is much faster, meaning busier tracks that fill the entire frequency spectrum are a lot cleaner and less veiled than the first gens. The imaging on the other hand, which is the ability for the AirPods to place sound in space around your head, is dramatically improved thanks to the faster drivers and the H2 chips and whatnot. Meaning even tracks that are not mixed in spatial audio are much distinct in terms of where tracks are placed in space. Overall, I think Apple has finally nailed the AirPods to the point where I could comfortably recommend these to any audiophile. Coming back to your question on AirPods being as good as similarly priced IMs, I would say not really. The AirPods don't really have the resolution that a multi-driver IM can have and I'd still go for a $149 IM any day. Sounds pretty good. And I would say the same too, the AirPods Pro 2 are the best wireless earphones to exist. Sure, they're overpriced, but if you value the Apple ecosystem and the whole experience of using the AirPods, these are the best ones to get. The overall convenience of the active noise cancellation and transparency mode sell it for me. Like these are way worth it over the pro ones, in my opinion. And that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. This is Thank You, and I'll see you guys in the very next one. Peace.